network security DNS amplification attack. My network is under attack. Yes, it happened to me. Uh, I think, uh, well, almost a year ago. I want to show you how I discovered that it was happening at the time and what this attack is all about. A domain name server amplification attack it is a type of uh, distributed denial of service attack and the idea behind uh, this attack is to send as many packets as possible to the victim that is on the right hand side. How is it achieved? You can see that on the screen at the moment. There are two things that you have to do to make it happen. First of all, you're going to spoof the source IP address. What the attacker is going to do here, he is going to pretend I am the victim and is going to ask a DNS server a question. What is the IP address of X dot, I don't know, test.com? And the reply will go to the victim. Of course, that is one of the things that he's going to do because uh, in in most cases, the idea is to send as much information as possible to the victim because this is a denial of service attack. It is really dangerous because if you block the source IP address, you're going to block a DNS server and not the attacker, uh, the attacker's uh, IP address, right? Because the the packets are coming from a DNS server at the moment. And it, as I said, it happened to me almost a year ago. And I want to show you how I discovered that. And unfortunately, it cost me some money. <laughs> in, my, in my case, uh, let me show you the network. Okay. Okay. That's... That's my router that's connected to the internet. Okay. And actually I have two routers, two firewalls. That is my primary connection. And this one is my backup. This guy is backup. Okay. Let's, and that was actually Zyzo and still is USG 50. That is my backup connection. Now, this is a 3G connection, okay? I have a USB dongle connected to that firewall. The problem with that is that it is really expensive. I pay 15 pounds a month for, I don't know, four gigabytes, and that's it. If you go above your allowance, they will charge you a lot of money. And that was the first thing that I noticed. I received, I think, an email or an invoice. I don't really remember. And they asked me, oh, can you pay 30 or 50 pounds? And I said, what the hell? What do you want from me? I am not using this connection at all. My mistake was that I was not really monitoring this connection at the time. It was my backup. And... Well, I, I, I use IPSLA. Not sure if you know IPSLA. IPSLA is, is, is a solution from Cisco that you can use to be proactive. And if this link goes down, I will use that guy. Okay. And I, I remember I was monitoring IPSLA at the time when it happened. I checked all my logs and servers and I couldn't see a syslog message saying that this guy kicked in. Well, as far as your ISP is concerned, they don't really care, do they? This is traffic going into your network, coming into your network, right? They don't really care, you didn't ask for it. For them, it is 
traffic. That's right, they will charge you for that. Of course, my main concern was that, you know, someone allowed a spoofed IP address. I sorted it out and let it go, but uh, I think I should have escalated it to them because in a way it is an ISP fault because they should never ever allow a spoofed IP address. It doesn't, it doesn't mean it was my ISP, probably it was some other ISPs that allowed a spoofed IP address. How I discovered that? Okay, so I, I started to to look at it uh, and what I did, I, I opened PRTG and I started monitoring that interface here. What I, what I discovered was really, really strange. I was not, and actually I was monitoring this interface as well and that interface, both. Here, both ways, there was absolutely no traffic. It was like two kilobytes per second, two kilobits per second or something crazy. Here, well, I show you that because I have that report. I started monitoring here. I expect to see around one, two kilobits per second. Why? It is like keep alive messages, things like that. I don't use this connection at all. And please note what I saw here. Yeah. 200 megabytes were downloaded in one hour. In one hour. And as you can see, it stopped. How? Well, what I did, I disconnected this 3G connection and it was okay for a while and you will see it happened again. There we go. And again, and again, and again. What I discovered at the end, it was a DNS name, uh, a dynamic DNS name that I used. Probably that was, that was targeted. To sort it out, please note again here. The interface that I'm showing you at the moment is over here. I was monitoring this one as well and I, as I said it was 2 kilobits per second 24 7 absolutely no traffic coming in going out of course all these requests so all these messages and dns packets were dropped by my firewall that's absolutely fine still it cost me money to sort it out what i did i changed my dynamic dns name okay because that was targeted and i have not seen a DNS amplification attack since it means that was that was the root cause of this issue it is really dangerous because you can always block and I think I did but you will block one of the DNS servers that's wrong that that that's a mistake uh, that was made by someone who set up who had set up that DNS server but that that's another story there are servers like that that will allow things like that and if you block a server like that it, in most cases it will not sort out anything because this guy will start using something else okay that's why again monitoring is so important yeah and unfortunately i was not monitoring this interface and that was a mistake at the moment i have i have a rule I have I have a rule on my PRTG server saying that if you see any traffic going above I don't know to remember 200 kilobytes if you download or upload 200 kilobytes per hour send me an email because that's what I said this is my backup connection I'm not using it it's just a keep a live message and that's it both ways yeah there should be no traffic going through this uh, through this firewall. I encourage you to read a little more about DNS amplification attack, how it's performed, and what you can do to recognize that in your own 
network. In this video, we talked about network security DNS amplification attack. I showed you what that was all about. And unfortunately, it cost me money. That's why I will remember that one. Thank you very much.